Yeah, hello and welcome. Um, welcome back to the second day of Conworks. And it is now my pleasure to briefly describe Oranienburger Kanal by Uwe Rosenberg, which is the first game that Spielworks will do next year. And um, Uwe is a little bit camera shy, although this is not the correct term because it's of uh, the English language uh, talk. So um, that's why I'm doing this. And uh, although I think Uwe, you, you would have done uh, very well and probably your English skills, language skills are much better than mine. So, so bear with me. I have to go briefly back to the um, chat talk we had before because I missed uh, two questions uh, here. Sorry for this. Can it be blue? And Cludias had asked what about playtesting possibilities in uh, Carolingi, Carolingi and um, uh, electronic uh, digitally um, options. Um, I'm not sure if this will be possible or is still possible at this time. Yes, we had um, digital versions of the game, but I think right now they are first a little bit outdated and second, we are very close to finishing testing on, uh, for this game. But nevertheless, if you still see this, if you hear this, please get in touch with me at uliachbeerworks.de and I will see and I will put you in touch with the design team and we'll see if there are still if there are still options to test uh, the game. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, the, I, I'm, I'm really not a, I'm, I'm a very poor replacement here. Let's see what I, what I can do. Uh, so, um, Oranienburger can, uh, canal, canal, this means, what does it mean? It's a canal area of Oranienburg in Brandenburg, Germany. So it's a very special area. And during the 19th century, this area, this canal area was developed and early industries settled in this area because you always also had the development of railways and more and better uh, streets. So what are the players doing in Oranienburger Canal? In Oranienburger Canal, they are building the infrastructure in this area and uh, also build industries in this uh, area. And Oranienburger Canal, Canal is a one or two player game. So it's not one to four or two to four, it's one or two players. And each player has two boards, one for resources. And let me try to bring this up here. Uh, let's see if I manage. Hopefully people can now see this. Of course, everything you're seeing here is pure prototype um, stuff, as you uh, can see. And as you know from uh, some of the uh, Uwe games, um, you have resources in the game and you are moving them. So um, there are five different types of resources and um, the quantities, of course, will, um, will change during the, the game. Um, so let me get back to this. So each player has two boards, one for these resources that you saw and one where you are building infrastructure and industries. And I will show this in a, in a second. Um, and the game is played in, let's call it action phases. And in each action phase, there is a total of five actions. So it's not that both players will have the same number of actions. It's different ones, but the start player uh, goes back and forth. And what is special and what makes the game also interesting is that you may per game round do conduct each action only once. So it's not once per player, but once in total. So if you block an action, the other player can't do it. So timing here is most important. And also you need to take a good look what the other player may be interested in. So you can play especially against this if you like, but it may then hurt your plans because you are not making any uh, progress. Uh, let's move to that board here. Again, this is prototype stuff. 
so hopefully you can see this and on the right side over here there will be industry tiles so they will be la laid out at the, um, at the start of the game and you can pick them up and put them on the board that board i will show uh, in a in a second and these spots over here they are for um for actions so you could put a disc in this spot here and then it's blocked for that turn and you can build one industry here erect and build one any one um, pathway any one uh, track over here because there are four different ones in the game and here I can only build one um, one industry and here I can build three pathways and or streets and of course everything also costs resources and uh, sometimes also uh, money and here it's any one um, pass or one um, and one uh, pathway and one uh, street and here you're getting resources so wood and here you're getting um, uh, bricks um, over here um, so that is the action board and that is what you are doing you're doing one action at a time and so there is not a lot of downtime and then you conduct the action that you uh, selected and as I said there are four different kinds of infrastructures so you have the pathways you have streets and the pathways are the only ones that can be changed improved during the game so you can um, get rid of a pathway and put a street in its place and there are also canals, of course, and railways. So these are the four different kinds. And each of these have their advantages and disadvantages. And they basically, they need different industries um, nearby. Let me now see if I can get the second player board up here. So this would be um, the second player board and you see of course again um, this is a prototype art and this will be uh, of course somewhat larger too and you see here these are all pathways the brownish natural brownish ones this is a street here in red you see a railway over here in in this prototype it's um, purple and you see two uh, blue um, canal spaces over here and the pathways, the infrastructure is moving always along these lines. And the industries are put in these places over here. And this one here means first the costs are in resources. So this one is pretty, a pretty cheap one. It costs just two bricks plus, um, um, and it will give four victory points later, zero gold, zero iron um, and Per, and it is placed in this playtest here, in this spot early in the game, of course, um, because it needs canals adjacent to it. So right now we already have one canal and it could be that this player tries to continue building canals uh, around it. And then the player will get this one here. And this one costs two wood and one, um, what is it, Siegel, is this brick? I'm not sure. And um, it will give you six victory points. And it, it is a good thing if you build it on one of the corner spots, so right here. And if you are managing to place two or three or four different infrastructure tiles, places, um, in, uh, around it then you get a certain amount of victory points so three five or ten and you see that player probably me was not too smart here because uh, you have only two different kinds of infrastructure around it so one pathway and one canal so two different ones would earn me three victory points and you get victory points immediately when you surround such an industry so this one in the game would have been already uh, scored. Um, but there is a second opportunity to score such an industry, um, which stays in place, by the way, if you build a bridge between neighboring ones. So if you build a bridge over these two ones here, then you can score this one again. So each of these tiles is, um, is scored twice in the game, or possibly uh, scored twice. Um, in the game. Um, let me get 
back to you here and let me briefly look into the chat if there are some uh, comments here let me see mm. and uh, <laughs> Noki laughing snuff is now uh, saying moin as well so he learned from from the bloody uh, Germans here already um, this uh, yeah, and of course, it, it's late over there in Australia, so I totally understand. It was my pleasure that you were the guest several um, of the episodes here today, so thanks uh, a lot. And yeah, thank you for your kind words, of course. Mm. And um, Nick is asking, does the sweep arm on the board act in the same way with resources at Aura at Labora? Yes, pretty much in, in uh, this uh, way. <laughs> and, uh, hello, Ode, Bayer Bube is, is here, one of uh, this uh, brood, and he's saying Uli is still awake. Yeah, I'm still awake. <laughs> it will be a long day. Um, uh, yeah, but, but uh, Ode is correct, because in Aura at Labora, in, in my opinion, you have only one right and uh, this is more like glass road where you have these uh, two arms um, uh, in there correct um, yeah so these were the uh, comments what I love in Oranienburger Kanal um, is that the like in a lot of Uwe games the mechanics are very abstract so it is a game that is appealing to people who love mechanics first and theme is coming second, like for example, order. Um, but with the proper topic here laid above uh, it, it feels like you're back in the 19th century as well. So of course, uh, this will be uh, the artwork will be by the always amazing Harald Lieske, so it will look totally different, of course. And while your turn is pretty simple, you select one action space and you do what, what you can do in that action space and done, decision making is really tough. It's really tough. So the rules booklet is pretty short, but decision making will be hard and, and really mastering the game. Um, from, yeah, when is, I said early, this game will be Spielworks first release next year. We are right now looking into Kickstarter, crowdfunding it early in the year. So it will be Spielworks first release. And the game is already in the able hands of developer Henning Kröpke. So he's looking at the game, he's working on this game. And Harald will shortly, um, we already had a preparation session over here. It's nice so that you can do this in person again. So he will start artwork on this game um, soon uh, too. Um, yeah, any questions here? Any questions? Yes, and it is a com wheel. Uh, yeah, and then Ode is obviously correct. It is a common wheel. And in um, this game, each player has their own production wheel. So it's with two players. You have two of these wheels, your personal ones. And the board where you're building your industries, this is also not a joint board, but each player is doing this indi uh, individually. But because you are always watching what the other player is needing and you are watching the action board. It's not a multiplayer a solitaire. Although, as I said earlier today already, this is not meaning that these games are bad, but this is not Oranienburger um, Canal. And GT Berman is saying it, I think it sounds great. We'll definitely keep an eye on this next year. Yeah, there should be an, um, BGG entry pretty soon, probably late October, let's see, maybe uh, November, and then we will add more and more graphics um, to this game. And please keep in mind, it's also, it's not only two player, it's also, it has a, a solitaire option. So if you are a solo player yourself, you may also um, love to um, play this game alone because of course you can manipulate the action board, you can uh, buy industries, you can buy your own infrastructure and then uh, score in this um, in this game. Yeah, And 
I can guarantee at a certain point I will convince Uwe to be my guest in the Spielworks chat and I think he will be doing just fine with English and he will be uh, of course the much better person to answer any questions or answer any um, or yeah, get in detail on some uh, comments. And um, Ode is saying, I play tested the game solo. If you like Uwe's solo variants, it is very good. <laughs> and Ode is saying, keep in mind, I'm a total uh, Uwe fanatic. Who isn't? Who isn't? Yeah, this is ab absolutely uh, true. So this is just a very brief overview. As I said, there will be much more info real soon on Oranienburger Kanal by Spielworks. And um, we are continuing here um, in 28 minutes. Um, Gian Simone Migoni will be my guest and he will present his game Dolcissima Vita, which is a very interesting game on a very interesting uh, theme and uh, topic. So if you like, please uh, join us again in um, less than half an hour. Thank you for your time and yeah, Hopefully talk to you soon again.